Hey church, hope you're well wherever you are today. My name is James Patterson and I lead up the camera team at Manchester Central Campus. If you are at all interested in joining camera team or have a passion for cameras and want to get involved, then definitely come find me on a Sunday. But today I want to talk to you about my miracle. So I can start with a verse um, and this verse really I lent on during the time that I was in waiting for my miracle. So it's Isaiah 40 verse 31. It says, But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. So I really lent on this first because um, I had quite bad acne growing up. So through high school and college, it was quite bad. It was all over my face and it was just not a nice thing to have. So for me to kind of do daily things was actually quite hard because I was very conscious about how I looked, how I came across, and it just wasn't a nice thing. People, you could see people would notice it. Um, so for me, I really had to lean on God's strength in that time to just do normal things, you know, go to school, go to college, go to social events at church, go to church on a Sunday because I was worried about what people would think. So, yeah, looking back, it, I really did just lean on his strength during that time. And there are like obviously benefits to what happened um, in that I did end up just not caring what people thought of me in the end. I was just like, cool, I've got acne, right? Bum, just go about my day so that was quite a success story really that I could just shut that out and just do that and carry on with my life um, but obviously it was hard and it didn't it was one of those things that just was a while you know I was I had it for quite a, while, a long time and tried different medications and um, all of them just seemed to help maybe a little and then it got worse again so it really was like a long journey till I was eventually healed. Um, but the great news is I was healed and like that came about at a perfect time. So I ended up going on some quite harsh medication called Rakutane. And for that, I really seeked kind of God's approval, God's, you know, direction with whether or not to even go on it. Because there was the decision of, well, will I get healed just normally or is this the step that I'll get healed, you know? But I definitely, you know, prayed and like mulled over it and talked to my family about it. And the decision was made that we, you know, should try this medication. And it actually, it all worked out pretty well. It was at a perfect time um, that, you know, I went on because basically one of the things that happens when you have this medication is things get worse before they get better. So. Um, it brings out all the spots and makes them worse and it almost just flushes it all out before you're healed basically and it stops. Um, so it was actually at Christmas time that I got put on this medication and it wasn't clear like when I would get put on it but Christmas time actually ended up being the um, time and it was perfect because at that time I'd finished college, I was at home with family and that was the time that, you know, the first week it, it got really bad, but it didn't matter because I was just at home. So that really helped. So that was perfect. And then actually within about three weeks, um, it had almost completely gone, you know, all my acne, which was amazing. So um, big testimony there was that this actually worked quicker than it actually said it would. The doctors were actually quite surprised by how quick it happened. And I actually ended up going off the medication quite early. So big success, really. Um, so I was really happy that eventually, you know, God pulled through. But definitely, like, I um, had to, you know, lean on God's strength and lean not on my own understanding during that time of waiting. So yeah, just for those, I just want it to be an encouragement. If you're waiting for your miracle, you know, lean on his strength um, and don't go with your own understanding. Just remain faithful and, and God will pull through. So, yeah, thanks for listening.